Wow, I can't believe we built this in the pouring rain in under eight hours. What did you think about the build upon class today? It was fantastic. Amazing. Learned a lot. There was a couple things that we learned that it was absolutely the price of admission just for those one or two things. We're looking for something big time and this is it. This is big time. Stay tuned. This event's going to be awesome. Where there's a will, there's a way. Getting ready for the build a pond class. With all the rain they received last night, we had tons of rain and we took this pond apart and water wound up coming all down the mountain here and some washed into the pond area and flooded everything out. What a great start for a build a pond class. Hopefully a little prep work today and we can get this thing ready for tomorrow. We got the pond mostly drained down, but because there is no water in it from us taking it apart, the rainwater got under the liner and it's making it float and probably a muddy mess underneath. I'm gonna have to go out and get some sand, put the clean out pump underneath the liner first and drain away the water. Sometimes you just gotta overcome. It's Saturday morning and the craziness already has started. It's around seven o'clock. I still haven't woke up yet and there's people showing up. That's my Facebook friend, Brian from West Virginia right there in that silver pickup truck. Stay tuned, this event's gonna be awesome. So we got a few early risers here. Over 30 people are gonna be attending today and we're gonna show them everything from installing the skimmer, bile fall, shaping the pond, and then creative rock work. This is actually pretty funny right now because to start this class off, we're actually filling the pond in with sand at the bottom level, just so we can show everybody what it's like to dig the bottom section out and shape the pond for real life experience. So we'll start off with a pond, dig it out, and then, you know, start showing everybody what's going on. So we're pretty much ready for the class now. All the water has dried up, and then we had a help from a bunch of contractors early this morning to get sand in the hole. So it looks like the homeowners just started digging it, or the contractors just started digging it. Perfect way to start a class from scratch. We're excited to have you here for our first build a pond day of 2022. I know the weather's a little bit misty out, but we're gonna bang right through it. Tim's gonna teach you how to install an 8x11 ecosystem pond. So two o'clock, we want the waterfall running. So that's our goal also. Like, you know, like you laugh, but that's our goal. You know? 2.30, it's cocktail time somewhere in town. We tell do-it-yourselfers every day that walk in this door, like you can do this. Like you absolutely can do it. Who's got questions? Anybody got questions today? A little bit of rain. You're gonna ask me a question? What? I'm sorry. What? No. <laughs> All right, everybody, let's go outside. Let's start to build. So we're just starting here. We're starting to dig out the first area of the pond. We sprayed uh, the outer edges and everybody's gonna be putting soil into the uh, MT100 here so we can dispose of it from the job site area. So we're working on the second shelf area of the pond. We sprayed some markings down below and right now we're just uh, digging out the soil and then we'll be digging one more shelf area in the pond for the bottom depth of around two foot. We're at the final digging stage of the pond. The third shelf is going in. And I was telling everybody in class, when you're digging out a pond, to try to dig different depths and areas and not to have one ring all the way around the same height and then another ring all the way around. It doesn't look as good when you rock the pond in. Given the different depths, definitely gives you a more natural look. It's 10 o'clock in the morning and we got the underliner fabric in the hole. Pond is fully shaped and we're just ready to put the liner in. About an hour and a half in, not too bad. We also have the skimmer unit in and we'll be ready to be placing rocks in here very soon. So we got half the pond rocked in. It is pouring raining out here. We got a whole bunch of troopers staying in us with the class. I wanna thank everybody. And we're not nearly done yet. Everybody else is probably cold too, but uh, we're all hanging in, trying to get this project complete. This is what we have so far. And I believe it's around, anybody know what time it is? Like 11.45. So we're moving right along. It'll be done by around one o'clock. So stay tuned. By digging out behind the rock right here, he was able to get that liner tucked down below. And now I'll finish tucking the edges. So we just got done with lunch and we're heading back out to the pond site to start uh, the completion of the build a pond class. We got the girls from Land Vista behind me and uh, hopefully we can finish this within the next hour. So we're at the part in the class where we're working on the waterfall. We're gonna be adding some foam behind the boulders. So all the water flows over the top of the boulders and into the pond and we have a great look of waterfall. You don't wanna get this on your hands if you can help it. So when you're foaming, you're gonna watch. I'm not gonna put any foam on that front side over there. So many guys like, they'll foam all of this and foam all in here. You don't need foam there. The water's traveling over the rock and down. You, all you're gonna do is see a whole bunch of foam and a whole bunch of mess. So you wanna really foam behind here. You see this fold here? You wanna make sure that you have foam back down in that fold, see? There, 
If not, water's gonna run through there. And I know this sounds, it looks a little odd right now, but once I, the water's gonna travel over here because of this foam, right? Right now, if we turn it on, it's gonna pour this way, right? When I set my side boulder in over here, it doesn't have to be much higher than this. It can be something low and we foam it in place. Then the water's gonna hit that foam and boulder come this way and fall over, right? I don't need foam all down in there at all on the front. It starts getting looking really messy. Some people out there cover the foam with uh, moss, but then if the moss dies, to me, it just looks very messy. This stuff does expand. So as we're doing it right now, as it starts drying, we're gonna pay attention to how much it expands. Yeah, we stuff in the underlayment down first so the foam is making contact with the liner. Yeah, yeah, you don't you don't want to foam on top of the fabric. Now, I call these kind of like drains. We're gonna we'll have gravel over there. Any once another boulder goes here, like I was just talking about over there, that's gonna stop the water from going this way. I'll have gravel over there. If anything gets past this foam on each side. It just goes down through that gravel and back out into the pond. It's not a leak. That's why this is like a 90% stoppage of water. It's not 100%. So some water will sneak by. It's not a sealant, right? Nope, it's not a sealant. It is not a sealant. And the uh, foam itself, you're gonna watch it start expanding. So as that foam starts expanding, we'll actually take our hands, uh, probably Ralphie with gloves. I mean, my hands are a mess anyhow, and push it down a little bit to let the air out so it doesn't turn into a big marshmallow. We're gonna find, let's find a couple boulders for the side and we can finish this up. So we're at the point of the pond build here that we're rinsing everything down and getting ready for the um, refill. So we're cleaning all the rock and gravel down. That's my buddy Alan back there. My wife Elena's here. So we're just getting ready to uh, fill this thing up and have it run. And everybody's uh, pretty excited. It's been a long rainy day, but we got it all accomplished with tremendous teamwork. But are you gonna scare the people getting that close to my face? So. What did you think about the build upon class today? It was fantastic. Amazing. Learned a lot. Yes. Learned a lot. Learned so much. There was a couple things that we learned that it was absolutely the price of admission just for those one or two things. Awesome. And are you uh, planning on building a pond of your own? Yes. yes. Yeah. We are homeowners. We are amateurs. We have a small little pond that we made and we were looking for something big time and this is it. This is big time. Wow, I can't believe we built this in the pouring rain in under eight hours. An eight by 11 pond with a cool little waterfall. Thanks for all the help from the contractors, homeowners, and especially Raphael from the Garden State Koi install team. This wouldn't be possible without everybody that attended today. Thanks again, and what an awesome turnout. <laughs>